Well, Sine, she wanted a recount, and now she's got it. Democrat Carolyn Bordeaux filed an official request with the Secretary of State's office today asking for a review of the results in her race against Republican Congressman Rob Woodall. Woodall leads the race by around 400 votes. In just the past hour, the Secretary of State ordered that recount. Fox House Claire Sims joins us live from Gwinnett County. And Claire, when will this recount take place? Yeah, in her order, Secretary of State Robin Crittenden orders both elections officials here in Gwinnett and in Forsyth to get that recount started at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Now, this all comes after Democrat Carolyn Bordeaux officially asked for that recount today from the Secretary of State. Bordeaux ran against incumbent Republican Rob Woodall to represent Georgia's 7th District in Congress. The latest numbers from the Secretary of State's website show that Bordeaux trails Woodall by only four. 419 votes out of more than 280,000 cast. That represents a razor thin margin of just 0.14%, well within the 1% required to justify a recount. Even more important, Bordeaux asked for a hand count of the paper ballots in this race because her name appeared on the fold of absentee ballots and she believes that a machine would have a difficult time reading them. Crittenden's order does address that, requiring elections officials to review by hand any ballots that are folded or bent or cannot be processed. While I am, of course, concerned about fairness and transparency with respect to my own race, I do see this as a part of an overall effort to reform election processes here in Georgia so that everybody can have confidence that their vote is being counted. In a statement to Fox 5, Congressman Woodall said the recount request comes as no surprise, but for now, Rob Woodall has been certified the winner and he is back at work serving the 7th District. Now again, that recount is set to begin both in Forsyth and in Gwinnett counties starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are live in Gwinnett County. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.